Welcome, I am Ted Byerly, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer here at F5. And I'm here today to talk to you about F5 Distributed Cloud Bot Defense with AWS CloudFront. I'm gonna guide you through how to easily protect your AWS CloudFront distributions with F5 Distributed Cloud Bot Defense. We will be taking advantage of AWS Lambda at the Edge and the AWS Serverless Application Repository to integrate with the F5 Distributed Cloud Bot Defense API. First, let's take a look at a high-level architecture diagram of F5's Distributed Cloud Bot Defense with CloudFront. You'll notice the clients connecting to the CloudFront distribution, the CloudFront distribution taken in action, which is our Lambda function, and then after the decision from F5's Distributed Cloud Bot Defense, you either continue on to your origin or redirect or drop the traffic. What makes this such a powerful combination is the 400 plus edge locations for CloudFront distributions and F5's bot defense that covers both web and mobile traffic. And as I said earlier, allowed, redirected, or denied based on security indicators and telemetry results. Now let's dive in to show you how quickly to set this up. First, you're gonna log into F5's Distributed Cloud Console. Then we're gonna select Bot Defense. Once your Bot Defense dashboard is visible, you're gonna verify that you're in the correct namespace. Then you're gonna select Applications. We're gonna add an application, give it a name, a description, if you wish. Then we're gonna to go to a region and US for this demonstration, and then connector type. We've covered IAP before, but this is gonna cover CloudFront's connector. When you select a CloudFront connector type, you're gonna to have to supply the account number, a configuration, either by tag or distribution ID. For the demo purposes, I'm just doing a tagging. Then you're gonna to go to protected endpoints and configure. You're going to add an item. As usual, we're going to give it a name, description, any domain, or you can match a domain. You're going to enter the path of the entry point. For here, it was login. Uh, what method? We're usually looking for posts in this situation. And then here's where we configure web client or mobile client. But here, select web client. Here are your mitigation actions. Continue, redirect, or block. But we're gonna do block here with a 200. Click apply, apply again. This will take you down to the JavaScript section. Here we're looking at the header name for the continue mitigation action, the client path of the JavaScript, the JavaScript insertion rules, and where to insert the JavaScript. Click configure, add item, Give it a name. Give it a description if you wish and the path where the JavaScript is to be inserted. After that, click apply. Apply again. You're completely configured and save and exit. Back to your dashboard. On the dashboard, verify your app name, the connector type, the app ID. Click the three ellipses, and we're gonna download the config file and the AWS installer. Now we're gonna to transition to your AWS console. In the AWS console, we're going to search, unless you have pinned, the serverless application repository. Then you're gonna look under available applications and private applications. Click the F5 connector CloudFront tile. This will take you to a Lambda page. Here you will be creating and deploying a Lambda function. Click deploy to install the F5 connector for CloudFront. Once the deployment is complete, 
This will take you to your function page. Click the function that was created. Give you an overview of the function and more specifically all the code if you care to look at it. The CloudWatch monitoring and metrics as well are deployed. One last step to tie all this together. From your dashboard, go to AWS Cloud Shell. In the Actions section, you're going to upload the two files that you downloaded from F5 Distributed Cloud, the JSON and the F5 tool. Only one can be uploaded at a time. After you've uploaded the files, we're going to run a bash command, F5 tool install config JSON. Just a note here, it could take up to five minutes. A couple of house cleaning notes as this finishes up. The installation tool saved the previous configuration of each CloudFront distribution in a file. You can use the tool to restore saved distribution configuration. Also note that your F5 distributed cloud bot defense configuration, such as your protected endpoints, is sensitive security info and is stored in AWS Secrets Manager. You should delete the config JSON after the CLI installation. One final configuration item we're going to do is we're going to validate the CloudFront distribution functions. Navigate to CloudFront and Distributions and select the distributions you are protecting. Then go to Behaviors. Here under Behaviors are where you specify which request response is forwarded to the Lambda Edge function to process with F5's distributed cloud. The AWS installer tool that we downloaded from Distributed Cloud Console and ran in the AWS Cloud Shell configured this for us. One final note to wrap things up. You're going to use F5's Distributed Cloud to monitor your blocked bot traffic. So log back into F5's Distributed Cloud, go to the bot defense tile, and here you're going to see some different screenshots of the security events by type. You get it blocked out by country, sources, your endpoints that are attacked, the bots are classified, the attack signatures and attack types are all listed on the portal for your review and mitigation actions. I've now covered all steps necessary to integrate F5 Distributed Cloud Bot Defense with AWS CloudFront. I hope this demonstration was able to show how quickly and easily it is to get this configured and protecting your applications from bots. Thank you for watching.